Let's take a look at how we can do branching in Qualtrics with a couple different tools. So for example, if we have this question, did you attend a meeting? If people answer yes, we can send them to the next question. If they say no, we can go ahead and end the survey. I have a survey here with a few questions in the first block. Did you attend the meeting? Was it informative? What was the best part? To learn how to create a basic survey, check out the link in the description. So if I would like to do skip logic, so I want people who answer this question yes to do one thing, people who answer it no to do another, I can select this question, did you attend the meeting? In the left hand side, I will choose skip logic. And this will pull up the skip logic dialog. I can add more than one skip logic to the question. So in this case, I'll say, if someone answers this question, did you attend the meeting? Yes. I want them to jump to the next question, was it informative? So if they answer yes, then they will go to was it informative, confirm. So then I can see I get this little purple skip to indicator on the question I start from and then the question that it will jump to. While I'm still selecting did you attend the meeting, I'm going to add another skip logic and this time I'm going to say if they answered no, I want to actually go ahead and end the survey because I only want people who responded yes to answer it. Now a quick note about this, the way the skip logic works is you can jump to another question in the same block, to the end of the block, or to the end of the survey. You can't jump to the end of the next block, for example, or jump to another block. If you want to try that kind of a logic, you can try branch logic in the survey flow. So I will add my second skip logic again. I want to say if they answered no to this question, I will jump to the end of the survey. So if no selected, skip to the end of the survey. Confirm. So then I will get a second skip to icon, the orange one, and they will go to the end of the survey. So when I click on preview to try this out, I will have my first question here and nothing else will show yet because there's skip logic on this question. If I answer yes, and I click on next, it will show me the next question and the things after that. But if I go back and I say no, when I click on next, it will automatically end the survey for me. So with skip logic, I can't make the next question show on the same page. But let me go ahead and delete these. I'll hold my mouse over each skip to and remove it and we'll try another option here. One of the other ways you can work this is display logic. So I can say I only want question two to show if people said yes to question one. I can do the same thing on question three if I want that one to kind of be grouped with question two. And this might be useful if I only want people to answer questions two and three that answer yes, but I have other questions for people who said no. If I don't want to just like end the survey. So in this case, I would select question two, the one I want to either display or not display and go to display logic. And this, I'll set up my condition. So I'm going to display this question only if the following condition is met. I'm going to choose by question and I'm going to choose that first question, did you attend the meeting? So I only want to show the was it informative question if they answered yes, if yes is selected and did you attend this meeting? And I also want to set it up so that my was the meeting informative question actually shows up on the same page without having kind of that jump between pages. And then I can set that up and click on save. Now I have the display logic sh icon showing and it will display this question if I said yes, did I attend the meeting? Now I have to apply the same logic to question three or question three will show in my survey as well. So I have to apply the same logic because otherwise I'll see this question three before I've answered whether I attended or not. So I'm going to close out of the preview and I'll do the same thing on question three. I'll select it, I'll go to display logic choose did you attend the meeting and I want that choice to be selected yes. In page I want it to show and I'll click on save. So now when I preview this question I will only see the first question but once I click on yes my next questions will appear for me. So lots of options for branching in Qualtrics. Try them out.